Time to pawn some nudes. Bye! You get everything? Let me check! Long sword, knife, bow. <laughs> Hey mom, there's a lot of zombies out there today. Time to pwn some new. That's how you pwn some news. This special Halloween zombie series covers most all the techniques we have learned so far. I will now take these techniques that shall be demonstrated and I will put them into practical application so you can easily follow along and duplicate the process. Cutting down a zombie with wood in Kihon, the basic footprint. Move your right leg forward and step into your stance. Draw the sword, lift it above your head. Grab the sword with your left hand into a Jodan position. Step forward with your left foot and pull it down into a Hasso stance and position. Check your target area and see where your distance is between you and your target. We walk into the target area from here we lift up the sword above our head into a Jodan position and cut down into the zombie's arm. From there, we lift the sword up again into a Jodan position and we cut again into the zombie's head. From here, pull your hand back up to your temple and prepare for Chibuti. Execute Chibuti. Bring the sword back over to your side and sheathe the sword and then stand into it back into a V stance. This is your basic footprint with wood, broomstick or bokuto. Cutting down a zombie at regular speed with a shinken. As in our previous lessons, when you draw the sword in this first technique, I want you to lift the sword up to about a 45 or 50 degree angle. And then that way, after this is in this angle, it will be easier to draw the sword upward above your head. From this position, your left hand is going to come to your focal point, your nose, and then up to a handle. When it comes up to the handle, you just step forward with the left foot and you easily come into this hasso position. From this hasso stance, this is a nice compact stance that will allow you to go from your area over to your target's area without telegraphing as much. After you have discovered your Mai or your circle of influence, the distance between you and your opponent, then you can easily step into his circle of influence and sever whatever object you want. You walk into the target, find your target, lift the sword above your head, as seen in this lesson, cut down with a Hidari Kesa Giri, bring it around up to the top, and again, cut down with a Migi Kesa Giri. Bring your hand back up to your temple this way, and Chibuti. Bring the sword back to your center and put it away. Practice this over and over until you become fluent and proficient 
It doesn't matter if you have a broomstick or a razor sharp samurai sword. The physics are almost the same in your cutting techniques at this time in your training. Thank you very much for viewing Learn the Sword on TGN. See you next Friday. Until then, be well.